about you guys, but choosing a sunscreen for my face that I like has been a huge undertaking. So I have been trying different sunscreens for the last two years since I started Tretinoin, and I have narrowed it down to like six sunscreens that I find acceptable. And one is a superstar that I absolutely love. So if you wanna hear about sunscreens for your face that are tolerable, stick around and I will go through them in this video. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jamie. I'm a registered nurse and I'm a nursing professor, but I'm also a bit of a beauty guru. I like to do tretinoin and I'm just about to turn 50 actually in a day. Um, and so I'm always looking for things that can help support me to look healthy and vibrant and youthful. And sunscreen, of course, is on the top of that list. I started a tretinoin journey about two years ago and when you're using a product like tretinoin, which is Retin-A for anti-aging, you have to use sunscreen all the time. And it has been a really big challenge for me to find one that I enjoy wearing, that you know works well with makeup, and also dealing with the peeling and side effects of tretinoin. So I have done a lot of work to find sunscreens that work for me, and I'm gonna share them with you today. Before I get into the sunscreen reviews, I just wanna let you know that my skin type is very dry and very sensitive. I will break down how each of these sunscreens have worked with that type of skin sensitivity and dryness. So my first three products are from Supergoop, and I actually really, really love these. One is, the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoo. I personally love this sunscreen for specific reasons. So for 1.7 ounces of Supergoo Unseen Sunscreen, it's like $38. But this is such a great sunscreen if you have really sensitive skin. When you go on to a product like Tretinoin, I mean, we should all be using sunscreen all the time, right? But when you're using Tretinoin, you're especially sensitive to the sun and you need to have sunscreen on your face all the time, which means you need to reapply it. And this is truly clear. It's clear, let me show you. So it's clear, clear, clear. And it's non-irritating at all. So is what I would do is I would keep this in my car so that when I would have to commute home from work and that late like you know, four or five o'clock sun burning through the window, I could just slather this on my face and my chest in my car and it wouldn't be messing with my makeup, it wouldn't be messing with my clothes, and then I felt like I was protected on the way home from work. It's very thick and has a very slick silicone feel to it. It does absorb into your face over time, but it takes a while, so, it took me a while to get used to it, and like I said, I used to just use it for in the car. Now I feel comfortable putting it on. It's kind of a good primer because it has that silicone feel to it, but it took a while to get used to that sort of thick, tacky feel. The Unseen Sunscreen is also 40 SPF. The next product by Supergoop that I really love is the Supergoop Glow Screen. So this has a similar feel to it as the Unscreen, but it's shiny. It's golden shiny. So I will show it to you. So the Glow Screen, as you can see, is like a golden color. And when you rub it in, it is so shimmery. So if you put it on your face, you kind of look like a disco ball. Um, is what how I like to use this is I use it on my arms and my chest and sometimes I use it as highlighter here we'll just put it on here so I use it as highlighter and then it's also highlighter slash sunscreen on top of sunscreen so it's win-win the glow screen is also $38 for 1.7 ounces so not cheap but it's nice and I like having this one for the chest and the arms. The glow screen is also 40 SPF. Okay, and then we have the Super Goop Every Single Face, and this is a watery lotion, 50 SPF, and this one is 38 for 1.7 ounces. What's interesting about this sunscreen, and it might actually be empty, but we'll see if I can get some out for you, 
It is so thin. Will it? There we go. It's so thin. So it's very, very watery. And this one has a very nostalgic smell to it, like that copper tone that you would slather all over yourself when you were a little kid. Um, and it absorbs into your skin really, really nicely. This one is water and sweat resistant. So I really like wearing this one when I'm going out on walks, taking my dogs out, going on a run. Um, I don't wear makeup over this one because if I have tried, it does pill a little bit with makeup, but it's great by itself. And it has kind of a satiny finish, but I like that it's water resistant and very thin. I'm gonna go ahead and review this one. It's the Dermalogica Prisma Protect. It is a 30 SPF. And this is kind of on the high end. It's $69 for 1.7 ounces. I decided to try it because again, I was just starting tretinoin and I really wanted to invest in sort of my beauty routine. And this one sounds amazing on paper. So it's like Prisma Protect. It has drone technology that illuminates your skin when interacting with visible light. It was all kinds of fancy bougie language and it sold me on this. Uh, it's not that it's not nice. It's a Dermalogica product. It's good quality. It is a, a somewhat luminous when you put it on. It's a little on the thicker side. When you put it on initially, it does have a white cast, but it absorbs. And then you're left with sort of a shimmery face. It feels really good on the skin. It smells really good like a Dermalogica product. So overall, this was a very pleasant sunscreen. It's so expensive though that I haven't continued using it. But if you have the means to buy higher end sunscreens, this Dermalogica one was nice. It also kind of burns your eyes, so you can't, you gotta be careful of getting it near your eyes. Okay, you can't have a sunscreen review without reviewing an Elta MD product. So I have the Elta MD UV Restore. This is an SPF 40 and it's tinted. I think I have a picture here of me with it on my face with no makeup um, so that you can kind of see the color. But you can see on my hand here, it is similar to my skin. It's pretty warm. So if your skin is cool in nature or if you're really fair, I feel like this might be too dark for you. It goes on nice. Um, what I think I like about this sunscreen is it's something that I can throw on my face if I'm just running out to go to the grocery store and I don't have time to deal with my makeup because it offers that tint. Um, it can be a little drying when it ends up drying on your face, but generally speaking, this is a good tinted moisturizer if you just want something to give you a little bit of coverage but still offer you good protection. This sunscreen, where is it? This sunscreen also boasts that it's very anti-aging. It has like ginger root and vitamin E and squalene. Um, so it, it claims to be hydrating and good for your skin. So if you wanna try a tinted moisturizer, I would recommend this one. Just for me with my super dry skin, it is a little bit drying. Not that I, I still use it, just a little bit drying. And this tinted moisture, or this tinted sunscreen is a 40 SPF. Next on the Elta MD list is the Elta MD UV Facial Broad Spectrum 30 Plus Sunscreen. So this sunscreen is nice, it's not tinted. It has niacinamide, it has a claim that it calms redness and soothes acne. It has a slight white cast, but it does absorb and doesn't leave a white cast after that. This one's nice. I usually use this one on my neck and chest because it's a little bit bigger um, volume. And so I feel better using this on my neck and chest than, for example, these tiny ones. So this is three ounces and it's $38 for the three ounces. Okay, and finally, this sunscreen is my absolute favorite favorite sunscreen. I 
Don't even know how I stumbled upon it. It is the Vici SPF 50. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. It's anti-aging. Vici products all claim to use this special volcanic water in them. There's grape extract. It has anti uh, bacterial properties to it. It claims to speed wound healing. It has vitamin E that helps protect you against free radicals. Plus, it is so watery. It goes on so thin and smooth. It feels so amazing on your skin. Mm, it smells good. It absorbs into your face. You do have to let it dry for a minute, but once it dries, it's like this beautiful satin finish and it just gives you that sort of smooth glass skin look. I love this sunscreen. I use it every single day. It goes really well under makeup. Sometimes I just use like the MAC um, Studio Fix powder over it and it looks wonderful. So that is my favorite sunscreen. Um, it's 1.7 ounces for $25 too, so it's cheaper. I get this on Amazon and I just have it on auto ship because I literally use it every day, all over my face and my neck. Um, I use the other ones for different reasons and different moments, but that is my daily go-to sunscreen. So check that one out. Not only is it cheaper, it's 50 SPF. It's water resistant for like 80 minutes. Mm -hmm. All around best best of choice today. So I've tried so many other sunscreens, but that would have made this video super long. So if you want me to do another one with other sunscreens I have tried and my opinions on them, let me know. Um, otherwise, stay protected and have a great summer.